Now, I was in the Army and uh, uh, Fort Camp, Kentucky, Fort Sill, Oklahoma, and artillery. And I saw guys every weekend, we started getting to leave. Grown men would get drunk every weekend. Now, I grew up in a big family uh, that made their own moonshine. And I don't mean skanky stuff, good moonshine. Real good. I mean, quality, good steals. And so uh, they'd make it, so if you ever got the flu, they'd put half moonshine, half honey, and make you drink it. Knock whatever was out of you, I guarantee you. <laughs> You'd see Jesus and sing soprano. Oh. <laughs> so I never drank a beer in my life. I said, why? Smells like horse urine. I don't drink horse urine. And so my uncles, every family reunion, somebody's getting drunk. Go up to Grandpa's farm, they're out there in the big old front lawn, and they're getting drunk, drinking that cheap, cheap Tudor beer. I don't think they make Tudor beer anymore. What's that? It's the cheapest beer you can get because they're ignorant drunks. Now, my family's older. I had two uncles that served on Iwo Jima. Uh, two were in the Air Force, uh, two were in the Army. Big military because Grandma says, if old enough, get them out of the house, put them in the military. It will take the stupid out of them. And all the girls she sent to a two-year college, got them educated, and they all did well. Grandma was smart, but I remember coming up there to the union. I remember one time I'm up there, and it's a, they got a big old two story country house, big old porch around it, no insulation, two pot belly stoves, and fireplace. You'd freeze to death in the house in winter. All of a sudden, out there, and you tell them once you're getting drunk, and I knew, I said, okay, my uncle so and so, yep, he can't handle his beer, two beers, he's gone. And so he's starting to stagger. So I went and got my, had two daughters done, come here, come here. So I went on the porch. Now, you used a black bear or a deer or something. Is it a bear? Is it a deer? No, no, it's your uncle Willie Bridge is there. Look at him. What's wrong with him? Wait a minute, you're going to see. Oh, does he need help? No, he didn't need help. Wait a minute. And all of a sudden, he hit all fours. He landed on all fours. His back arched like a razorback. He puked his toenails out. I mean, it's just coming out, hitting the grass, splattering. And my girl, oh, gross. No, 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 wait. The second one's better. Let him get his breath. The second one's better. I said, did that make you want a beer? And so we lived way out in the country for years or so. The last three places in town are three beer joints right next to each other. So we'd play basketball and football. We'd have late night kids in the back of the suburban. Many a night I pull in there when the kids are asleep. We've been at a three day tournament and I'd back in and I'd just turn the motor on. And they'd usually wake up and say, Dad, Dad, what are we doing here? And we're at the beer joint. Dad, somebody's going to see us. They won't see us. Just wave at them if you know them. I said, what are you doing? Well, the, all the commercials I've ever seen for alcohol have skinny people in bikinis and good-looking men with really tight stomachs. We need to see if any's going to come out of this building here tonight. <laughs> and they're not. Only fat slobs are coming out of this building tonight. So that's what beer's going to do to you. And I just tell my kids, now you can drink. You turn 18, you drink the winter, but not while you're at my house. We don't drink. We don't smoke, you know. You don't smoke, build a fire, and suck it up your nose. And we're not going to do that. <laughs> And uh, we don't do stupid. And stupid is what stupid does. Now, we didn't have perfect kids because we didn't have perfect parents. But I had some rules for the house. I want you to live a long time. 